We've been asking your thoughts on the United Airlines policy for overweight and obese flyers who may not be able to fit into a coach seat. Let's go to our first caller. Jay is on the line in Bullhead City, Arizona. Jay, what do you think? Hi, Chuck. Well, I, I think it's very much uh, we expect to pay uh, a fee for extra baggage. So the airline's trying to stay in business like they are. I don't think it's unexpected or unreasonable to think that they would charge for a second seat, regardless of the situation. I mean, at some point, we have to ask ourselves, is somebody going to sue a car company because they don't make the seats big enough? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's discrimination in any way. I think that's just business. All right. Jay, I appreciate it. Christine's okay. online in Chicago. Christine, you have a similar view or a little bit different? No, I have a different view. I believe that the airline should accommodate people of larger stature and charge them maybe 10% more. They're not double the person, so they shouldn't have to be charged double. It's about time you start accommodating some of these people. Humiliation will get you nowhere. All right. You think it's a handicap then, right? Well, it's, it's getting to be almost that way. We're talking people that if they can't fit in a seat comfortably, then they ought to accommodate the people by giving them a a seat that they can fit in. All right, fair enough. Okay. Carol is on the line. You're outside Cincinnati, I believe, right, Carol? Westchester? That's correct. All right. That's correct. What are your thoughts, um, please? I agree with Christine. Um, I've been on many planes, and I'm 5'9", and a size 14, so I'm not a big little thing. I have an issue with the seat in itself. My bigger issue is I've had people that are larger sitting next to me, and it can be uncomfortable, but it's not nearly as uncomfortable as the people that allow their kids to run up and down the aisles and it's not stopped by the airline by the pregnant lady who's by the window who has to go to the bathroom 15 times during the flight that i have to get up and get out it's it's life and sooner or later they're going to have to realize everybody's allowed to have one yep i thought you know, I, I, I thought sure you were going to bring up screaming babies because that bothers me <laughs> you know i had people sit next to me with a child that's screaming and, and bless the, the parent i feel very sorry for them too that's not what the situation they want to be in either right. but gee somehow we're not asking the parent to get off the plane or they'd be discrimination against small children sure. i've also had i have a, an adult daughter who was on a flight who they had a screaming child who threw off in the seat on her they mm. didn't ask that parent to leave Yep, the joy of so, flying. Carol, okay. i got to leave it there. Thanks. I appreciate your, your thoughts. Got a couple emails, too. Bonnie in Victoria, Minnesota writes, Obese people pay more for everything else. Clothing, medical services, food. Why not transportation? Nancy in McCall, Idaho writes, It's not the airline's fault that they're big, and they shouldn't have to lose money on the extra seat the obese person is spilling over on. 